Hello, I'm David Hewitt, a gastroenterologist and associate professor at the University of Queensland School of Medicine in Brisbane, Australia. In our paper, we report the development and validation of a new and simple classification for the application of narrowband imaging for real-time endoscopic diagnosis of colorectal polyps during everyday practice. The NBI International Colorectal Endoscopic Classification, or NICE classification. The background for our study is the development of image enhancement technologies that allow real-time polyp diagnosis during colonoscopy. Previous studies have shown that narrowband imaging can be used to determine polyp histology, and various classifications have been developed for colonoscopes with and without optical magnification. However, these classifications are of varying degrees of complexity, and the validity of their individual predictive component criteria has not been established. For NBI to be useful in clinical practice, simple classification systems are needed that can be used by both experienced and inexperienced endoscopists to apply NBI in routine colonoscopy, both without, with and without optical magnification. We conducted the study in four phases. In phases one and two, we developed the classification. In phases three and four, we assessed the validity of the individual NBI criteria and then the overall classification. To evaluate the validity of the classification, we used medical students and gastroenterology fellows, NBI novices with no previous NBI experience. We aimed to create a simple and practical classification that unified previous NBI classifications, had clear component criteria, and was readily applicable in routine practice without optical magnification by endoscopists without extensive experience in endoscopic imaging, chromoendoscopy, or PIT pattern diagnosis. The classification comprises three simple criteria, colour, vessels, and surface pattern, for which we developed clear descriptors for adenomatous and hyperplastic histology. Based on the component criteria, a polyp may be classified into three types. Type 1 corresponds to the most likely pathology being hyperplastic, type 2 being adenoma, and type 3 is deep submucosal invasive cancer, although this is not presented here. We developed a set of exemplar polyp images available in the online supplementary figure which demonstrate the typical appearances of the individual criteria. Hyperplastic polyps, shown on the left, typically have a colour that is the same or lighter than background, with no vessels or only fine lacy vessels that run over the surface of the polyp, and a surface pattern of dark spots surrounded by white space. Adenomas are typically brown relative to the background, due to brown vessels around a surface pattern of oval, tubular or branched white structures. I'll now briefly describe the major results from our validation study. For medical students, the surface pattern criterion yielded the highest sensitivity and negative predictive value for an adenoma diagnosis. Colour was the least sensitive and least predictive criterion compared with vessels and surface pattern. The highest negative predictive value was achieved when any one of the three adenomatous criteria was present. For fellows, surface pattern again yielded the highest accuracy, sensitivity, specificity and negative predictive value. When asked to provide a global prediction of histology using the overall classification with high confidence, sensitivity, specificity and predictive values were greater than 95%. So in summary, we developed and established the validity of an NBI classification system that can be used to diagnose colorectal polyps. Two clinical strategies have been proposed for the use of real-time estimation of histology. The resect and discard approach refers to the practice of endoscopic diagnosis of diminutive or small polyps combined with endoscopic resection followed by discard without submission to pathology. Real-time endoscopic diagnosis is combined with pathologic reports on larger polyps to determine post-polypectomy surveillance intervals. The second approach is the do not resect strategy. This is the identification of diminutive hyperplastic polyps in the distal colon and rectum, which are diagnosed in real time 
and left in place without sampling for pathology. There is a current and urgent need for technology to improve the cost effectiveness of colonoscopy given the high cost of this procedure. A significant part of the high cost is the current practice of resect and submitting diminutive polyps for pathologic assessment. Both clinical strategies for real-time diagnosis will reduce the need for pathologic examination. Validation of a simple and easily applied classification for real-time diagnosis is critical for the success of these endoscopic strategies. In conclusion, we present the NICE classification for image-enhanced diagnosis of colorectal polyps. This classification holds promise to meet the ASGE PIVI initiative performance benchmarks for real-time histologic assessment of diminutive polyps. The application of this classification may play a practical and important role in reducing the cost of colonoscopy.